FBU National Championship is brought to you by Zenith, makers of the X2 football helmet. We're on the road to San Antonio for the 2012 FBU National Championship. Hi, everyone. I'm your host, Neil Sika, and this is the FBU National Championship Field Pass Team Preview Show. Today, Team Eastern Washington, Northern Idaho. New to the field in 2012, their team director is Rob Dean. He'll speak with us next, right after this. The FBU National Championship is brought to you by East Bay, where the athletes are. From the creators of the U.S. Army Bowl comes Football University, the most exclusive football training in the country, invites, trains, and announces the next generation of football stars. If you're a 6th to 12th grader with elite football ability, FBU is for you. FBU matches elite athletes with elite instruction. Nominate an athlete today at footballuniversity.org. FBU, by position, by professionals, by invitation only. Hi everyone, this is Neil Sika, your host for the 2012 FBU National Championship. And for the very first time, exclusive coverage of every game at the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade level. In conjunction with Swink.tv, you can sign up for the FBU Field Pass on FBUYouthNationalChampionship.com. Check out our full game, highlight, and combo packages. And we'll see you on the FBU Field Pass. Back here on our FBU National Championship Field Pass Team Preview Shows. Today we talk about Team Eastern Washington, Northern Idaho. Rob Dean is their team director. He joins us now. Rob, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Fantastic. Thanks for joining. Uh, new to the fold this year, Eastern Washington, which is highly concentrated out of that Spokane area, and then some kids from Northern Idaho. And, and the talk of the town is you probably saw the bracket show as we feature your team. Over 300 kids at your tryout at each of the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade levels. And Trey McNeil, the commissioner, talking about you as a sleeper. Maybe not wanting to let the cat out of the bag, but uh, I'm sure you're pretty uh, amped and excited to get going with this FBU National Championship. We are very excited. Our boys are ready and chomping at the bit. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about the 6th grade team. Uh, first and second rounds, of course, but as is the case with everybody else, you're probably looking to the future with these guys at the 7th and 8th grade level. Some talent brewing here down the road. What can you tell me about the 6th grade team? Um, the 6th grade team is looking good. Um, got a little bit of a later start putting the team together. Um, they're carrying about 29 kids on their roster and um, they're really starting to gel well. Uh, I spoke to their coach, who is Rob White, um, mm -hmm. and I visited a couple of their practices and they're looking pretty strong. Yeah, looking strong and indeed. confident. Looking confident, as, uh, as I'm sure the case is with your 7th grade team, uh, too. What's the strength of the 7th grade group, offensively, defensively, anybody that uh, may make an impact uh, right off the top? Well, um, I can't really name individuals that would be strong impact players. I think the strength of that team is uh, their organization mm -hmm. and their overall uh, power. They're very large. They're a big group of boys. Um, strong off the, off the ball. I would, I would suspect they're going to be a strong running team, um, but they're coached very well. Um, Chad Dotson and uh, Ben Ziegler are the coaches for that group, and, and uh, they're put together really well. They're a group of kids that are very familiar with each other over the years through other football venues. Um, and like I said, they're coached very well, so I would suspect to see them perform very well in the uh, playoffs. Rob Dean is the team director for Eastern Washington, Northern Idaho. And, and speaking of this uh, two geographical dynamic that you have with your team, we mentioned all the kids at your tryouts. Uh, is there something that the nation doesn't know about this area as a, as a football hotbed? I mean, you have Pullman not too far from Spokane, so Washington State, and they've had some success through in and throughout maybe influencing some kids. But, uh, you know, Northern Idaho, do you really think of football when you talk about Northern Idaho? And tell me a little bit about the kids from that end of the spectrum as they've come to be on your team. Well, 
ironically, uh, I, I'm from New Jersey originally, and, and Idaho has impressed me with the talent that, that's here. We have a phenomenal, probably the state's best running back, for his, his name is Landon Molding. Mm. He is a star athlete. He's a game changer. He runs a sub-540. His abilities are amazing. We have a superstar quarterback uh, with a great arm to put the ball 40, well, a lot of yards in the air. A uh, very strong, solid player. Uh, plus, the, the real strength of our schedule, of our team is our depth. Yeah. We have a lot of talent all throughout. Uh, every position has a backup player who is as good, if not better. So, I mean, it's just phenomenal uh, to see the talent and the intellect. These kids are all sharp, talented, smart athletes that are very coachable. Uh, I've, been, I've been coaching for 20 years, and I'm very pleased to see the progress that these guys have made. Uh, in such a short period of time with so few practices. Rob Dean is the team director for Team Eastern Washington slash Northern Idaho. We've talked a little bit there about the eighth graders. We'll talk more on them and the the setup for this uh, Portland sectional to get out of the Western region when we return here on this FBU National Championship Field Pass Team Preview Show. The FBU National Championship is brought to you by Football University. Elite football training for the nation's top athlete. Hey! Push it, push it, push it good. Lift! Look at the hand, look at the eye level. I like it! Let's take five hits and let it go. He was bouncing right there, he ran right through. It's only one ball, and everybody should be running to the ball. Control the rip. Watch my knees, they go out like what? I'm climbing a big tree. Power comes from what? Through your feet, through your hips, through your palms, through your hands, guys. I've been playing chess since I was nine years old. Chess helps me stay focused. It helps me stay aware. It helps me anticipate my opponent's next move. To see his strategy, find his weakness, and exploit it. Chess prepares my mind for battle, because victory requires my strength, my speed, and my intelligence. My name is Ray Rice, and I'm an enlightened warrior. Introducing the Youth Football Coaches Association, the premier online resource dedicated to improving coaching effectiveness and promoting youth safety for all volunteers. Register free at yfbca.org and begin receiving free youth coaching information, monthly newsletters, certification, and background checks. The most up-to-date concussion information, drills for all positions and skill levels. Learn all types of offensive and defensive plays. Join us at yfbca.org where we are making good coaches great teachers. The FBU National Championship is brought to you by Jersey Mike's. There is no substitute. Back here on this Field Pass Team Preview Show on the road to San Antonio. The Western Regional is getting underway this weekend. First and second rounds. The Portland sectional featuring Eastern Washington, Northern Idaho, Team Oregon, Team Seattle, Washington. Eastern Washington, Northern Idaho is going to play in their first game, Southern Oregon, this Saturday and Sunday in Portland. And uh, we're talking with Rob. Rob, your eighth grade team, you've mentioned some of the guys that uh, may stand out. But uh, as a team in whole, and you could really relate this to your sixth and seventh grade teams, this matchup with Southern Oregon, and, and even with talking with Chris Miller, their seventh grade head coach, uh, you know, all the pub goes to Team Oregon. They got to the final five last year at the eighth grade level. You have Team Seattle, Washington, but do you kind of feel uh, the unknown or the wild card factor may work to your advantage uh, in this part of the bracket? Yeah, I hope so. I think that, uh, you know, them not knowing what type of an offense or defense that we're running is certainly an advantage. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, tell me a little bit about just playing later in this round because first and second rounds for the west start later than of course what happened on the east coast last weekend uh do you find that maybe as to your benefit i know maybe practices have been a little bit tighter because seasons have been wrapping up yeah the, the the struggle is uh 
competing with the uh, other football schedules, you know, mm-hmm. we get a little later start because they're finishing up and the you know playoffs roll into our schedule. Um, we've been organized enough to keep the kids focused, but fortunately, when you're dealing with all stars, they have a lot of game IQ to begin with. So yeah. It's just a matter of familiarizing them with the system. So we've been fortunate in that regard. You make an excellent right. point. Yeah, football is football. Kids would rather be playing than. Uh, you know, sitting and learning everything, just going out and executing is, is probably what's on their mind to begin with. Yeah, I mean, and when you have focused kids, and hopefully when you're picking your team, those are the kind of the guys you're focusing on, um, you really can make your practices efficient. But if you're not breaking down and doing the technique drills day in and day out that you need to do with recreational style football with these all-stars, you give them a couple reminders and you send them on their way. And these guys are functional, good athletes. Rob Dean, team director, Eastern Washington, Northern Idaho. Over 300 kids at their tryout, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. Really excited to watch you guys play uh, this weekend in Portland. Rob, and all the best to you on the road to San Antonio. Thank you. Rob Dean, team director, Eastern Washington, Northern Idaho. We'll have a final thought on this Field Pass team preview show right after this. The FBU National Championship is brought to you by School of the Legends, Voice of the Players. This is your FBU National Championship host, Neil Sika. And I got to tell you what, I am looking fly in my official East Bay FBU team licensed apparel, which you can get for a limited time only on FBUYouthNationalChampionship.com. Orders must be in by December 10th, and you can have that hoodie to keep you warm no matter where you are across the country or that bag to carry all your gear on the road to San Antonio. Visit the officially licensed team apparel store on FBUNationalChampionship.com. From the creators of the U.S. Army Bowl comes Football University, the most exclusive football training in the country, invites, trains, and announces the next generation of football stars. If you're a 6th to 12th grader with elite football ability, FBU is for you. FBU matches elite athletes with elite instruction. Nominate an athlete today at footballuniversity.org. FBU, by position, by professionals, by invitation only. FBU, The FBU National Championship is brought to you by Zenith, makers of the X2 football. The FBU National Championship is brought to you by East Bay, where the athletes are. I've been playing chess since I was nine years old. Chess helps me stay focused. It helps me stay aware. It helps me anticipate my opponent's next move. To see his strategy, find his weakness, and exploit it. Chess prepares my mind for battle. Because victory requires my strength, my speed, and my intelligence. My name is Ray Rice, and I'm an enlightened warrior. Hey everyone, it's your FBU National Championship host, Neil Sika. On the road to San Antonio this year, don't forget, you can visit our official merchandise shops at every regional site across the FBU National Championship. We've got hats, hoodies, game tickets, and backpacks. Take full advantage and gear up today for your FBU National Championship on the road to San Antonio. We'll see you there. Look at the hand. Look at that level. I like it. Let's take five kids and let it go. 
he was bouncing right there. He ran right to you. It's only one ball, and everybody should be running to the ball. Control the rip. Watch my knees. They go out like what? I'm climbing a big tree. Power comes from what? Through your feet, through your hips, through your palms, through your hands, guys. The FBU National Championship is brought to you by Football University, elite football training for the nation's top athlete. Three, two, one. Thanks for watching our FBU National Championship desk shows. We're on the road to San Antonio. You can catch all the action by visiting FBUYouthNationalChampionship.com and take advantage of our pay-per-view model. Extended content can be found at facebook.com slash national championship or on Twitter at FBU underscore NC. I'm Neil Sika, and we'll see you on the road to the Dome. Until then, so long. The FBU National Championship is brought to you by Jersey Mike's. There is no substitute. School of the Legends, voice of the players.